178 pound Mansers in the red, Robert Folks, and in the blue, the very popular Oreo James. You can hear the crowd. James in blue, Folks in red. 178. James comes out, the aggressor. Folks covering up there. James pushes him into the corner and fires a combination of punches, although his opponent fights back. Takes James and puts him in the corner. The two wrestle a bit here. And then uh, James tries to resume the offense. Folks in red, James in blue. Folks with a jab trying to parry James. James comes at his opponent in any fashion. There's the left hand by James. Folks tries to counter, misses with a right, right left, right combination. James comes back. The two fighters are swinging at the air here. going on here, John? Well, this is, uh, James is the guy who's getting the crowd cheering, but his opponent is not intimidated. Folks in the red, James in the blue. You know, it's rough because you feel like, even though it's your hometown, you feel like you're you're like the away team here. The guy brought yeah. probably <laughs> half the gym with him. Yeah. Um, he's got a lot of fan support. He's supposed to be a very popular guy. But uh, it's tough because you realize something as a fighter. Every time he lands a jab, the place goes up for grabs. You hit him with a good clean power hand, and the joint's silent. Yeah. And, and don't think that doesn't weigh on the judges. So you have to really work against that. You really got to turn it up if, uh, you know, if you're Robert Fultz tonight and, and, and win by just more than a little bit. All right, let's try it again. <laughs> any popularity with this already James crowd, but he's yeah. not going to do any good with the judges either. Oh, a combination, a double combination by Folks. James is in a little bit of trouble here. Let's see if he fights back. He's you trying to find his way out. He's not launching anything here. It's a big right hand. That'll be a standing eight. Uh -oh. You know what? Folks has to win huge to win tonight because this crowd is, is all about James. <laughs> well, it's pretty obvious so far. He looks slow coming into the center of the ring. The folks better not be out of gas here. He doesn't look like it. There's a left, uh, a right hand, drives the opponent back. His opponent steps back. He's in a lock. He takes a right hand and he's getting an eight count. Now, I don't know if, if folks know this or if James knows this, but he knows it. James, look, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Yeah. And look, uh, folks, look. He looks, look how he's bent over. Yeah. He took a beating. Yeah. Another big round of 
Strip Boxing safety is always first. Our referee, Celestino Ruiz, stops the bout. At 19 of the second round, our winner, Boxing out of the corner, All right, we're here with 178 pound Masters Division champion Robert Folks. Robert, did you notice that the crowd wasn't really rooting for you? <laughs> yeah, I did for sure. Uh, it didn't make me feel good going in. He, my opponent had a lot of uh, fan support, and uh, you know, I figured I guess with that, uh, the only thing I could do is try my best. And as it turned out, uh, it was good enough, and uh, I beat uh, both my opponent and uh, and his fans. But and you did, and I got to tell you something. I was broadcasting the fight over there with the uh, longtime fight promoter uh, Johnny Bellino, and I said, this guy's got to knock him out to win. He can't win the decision tonight. Did, did you feel that way? I did. Um, you know, I already kind of planned on that weeks ahead that uh, when you do leave it up to the judges, you know, if it's a close fight, it can go either way. So the only guaranteed way to win is to, uh, to get the fight to stop, and uh, that's what I was going for, and, you know, fortunate enough to be able to make that happen tonight. Now, you, you heard him, and you gave him a couple standing eight counts, but but were, was your mind in uh, what gear? Uh, back off, I took the round and save a little in the tank, or finish it now? Well, believe it or not, I had to cut a lot of weight coming into this fight, and uh, I probably over ate uh, after the weigh-in before the fight, and I wasn't feeling that good, and, and the first round was pretty tough for me, so I, I didn't really have uh, much of a plan other than to get back on my feet and keep fighting. My coach told me it's about heart and it's about how big your heart is and that's what matters most right now. So that's what I took with me into the second round. And I happened to notice that uh, my opponent uh, was a bit uh, winded, a bit tired, a little more so than me and I took advantage of it. You did and uh, congratulations to you. Thank you so much. Sure. Thank you.